So on this Tobacco University video, I'm going to go over the flowering or bloom phase of the cannabis growth cycle and show you a little bit of some images so you get an idea of the duration of flowering phase related to cannabis. All right, let's go over the flowering or bloom phase of cannabis growth cycle. So first off, the flowering stage length. Well, the flowering stage is the final growth stage of the cannabis plant and is when the buds are produced and maturing. This is typically in weeks 8 to 11 of the growth cycle. Most strains flower in 8 to 9 weeks of the growth phase, just to give you an idea. Some can take even longer, particularly those that are sativa dominant strains. Everyone wonders like when is there in flower, what week in flower are they in? This kind of offers a good visual guide as far as the flowering phase, which is initially week one, two weeks in the flower, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And we can see how that progression does change as far as weeks into flower. Now this may depend a little bit on the variety you might be growing, but at least this provides a general kind of overview of the stage of flower your plants might be in, particularly to determine when those early weeks are occurring. Now flowering stage for outdoor and indoor production. Well, outdoor plants will initiate flowering naturally when the plant receives 12 hours of light or less each day, which occurs in summer transition into fall. Indoor growers can trigger the flowering cycle by reducing the photo period to 12 hours a day. So they have a little bit more control and better timing of when that exactly occurs. Now the flowering kind of subphases, kind of like the stages of fetal development here. Flowering initiation is at one to three weeks and that's the plants continue to grow in physical size. Pre-female flowers produce the pistils, which are the thin little white cat-like whisker hairs. Then we get into the mid-flowering phase, which is approximately weeks four to five. And the plant vegetatively will kind of stop or at least slow in growing as the plant focuses more on the bud development. Then we get into late flowering or ripening, which is basically week six and beyond. And this is trichum density will be noticeably increased. Color of the pistils will also change. So this gives you, again, another indication of are you in initiation of flowering, mid-flowering, or late flowering phase of your plants. Now, grower tips during the flowering phase. So do not prune the plants during this phase. Plants should be trellised to support heavy bud production. And we can see here, excessive outdoor production, trellising doesn't have to be super fancy. You're just looking at a way of plant support. Growers will typically feed bloom uh, fertilizer to plants that have high concentrations of phosphorus, but consider the substrate and be careful how much you add uh, to avoid negative environmental effects and limited um, positive effects uh, to the plant there. Yes, phosphorus is needed, but I find a lot of growers are over applying it to the plants. At the end of the flowering phase, we have uh, the flower buds will be visually developed uh, quickly towards the end of the flowering phase. And we'll go about how to kind of go through and look at all the wonderful little trichomes densities. Uh, getting a magnifying loop it would be great to inspect these. So you could go through and determine the peak ripeness of your particular flowers. But a lot of it has to do with the setting up those, those plants during the vegetative phase, recognizing the stages of development in the flowering phase, so you can ideally have a good harvest, dry, and cure phase as well.